Monday, the country's apex court dismissed two petitions challenging the re-election of President Kenyatta as president-elect in the 26th October repeat presidential poll. The landmark ruling saw the court unanimously throw out all the 14 prayers the petitioners had placed before the court. Having carefully considered the above issues, the specific prayers in each petition as well as the constitution and the applicable laws, the court has unanimously determined that the petitions are not merited. The court determining that the two petitioners, Haron Mwau, and joint petition by activist John Jomue and Caliph Khalifa, could not stand the test of denying President Kenyatta his victory. Having carefully considered the above issues, the specific prayers in each petition, as well as the constitution and the applicable laws, the court has unanimously determined that the petitions are not merited. The petition filed by Harun Mwau heavily relied on the issue of fresh nominations in the repeat poll, which he claimed did not happen as required by law. Mwau in his petition had also sought the court to be clear if elections held on the 8th of August were deemed to have been concluded and whether another electoral cycle should have been commenced, heralding another nomination process. The second joint petition by Mwau and Khalifa was seeking determination of nine issues on the credibility of the election conducted. The two wanted the Supreme Court to determine the legal effect of the withdrawal of a presidential candidate before election whether IABC and its chair conducted the poll as per the constitution, whether the 26th October poll met the constitutional threshold, the legal consequences of not holding a presidential election in each constituency among other issues. But in their judgment, the bench termed the petitions lacking merit upholding President Uhuru's win. A host of Jubilee leaders who had attended the court session lauded the decision saying the losers too should be bound by the law the way the president submitted himself to the law when his August 8th win was nullified by the same court. Big win for Jubilee, but even a bigger win for the constitution of Kenya because we subjected ourselves to the authority of our constitution. This uh, Supreme Court is a product of uh, this constitution. It spoke on September 1st. We did not like what it was saying, but we had to respect it. Today, it has spoken and uh, spoken in a language that we appreciate and are happy about. The challenge now goes out to those who feel that today they may not agree with the decision, is to do exactly what we did on 1st September, to accept the ruling and follow through with what it has said, that the political season is over. I call upon Kenyans to uh, realize that fight for power, people are fighting for leadership, must not lead to a situation that we have seen in the last few weeks where people are fighting. We must now forge uh, a united uh, country. I believe President Uru Kenyatta and, um, will form a government that will unite the country, that will have a representation from all parts of the country. Through the leadership, the minority leadership in the House, and through the majority leadership in the House, and other stakeholders, there are forums provided for by the Constitution in making sure that Kenya moves forward and Kenya joins the League of Nations that respect constitutionalism and the rule of law. Bruce Gukwu for Channel 1, News Hour.